I'm going to be starting with some wooden beads. These are natural and black small beads. I got those from Walmart. And then I have some big natural beads from Amazon. Now you can also find other colored ones on Amazon as well. And I just have some brown string. Any string or jute will do. I just picked whatever's easiest to string my beads through. So I'm going to be doing a black and two small natural wood beads and then another black small and then a large wood bead. And I'm going to repeat that pattern as I'm stringing the beads on. Now the large bead is a 20 millimeter bead and the smaller beads are 16 millimeter. And then you just want to cut the ends leaving some extra string. Now I'm going to have four different strands of beads and each time I do a strand I'm going to add beads. So the first one is going to have 18 beads, the second will have 24 beads, the third will have 34 beads, and the fourth will have 44 beads. And then I'm just going to lay them down. So it's going to go from the smallest strand to the largest. And I have this wood dowel and you can really make this any length you want. This is about 14 inches long and you can find these at Hobby Lobby, Dollar General, Michaels and you may have to cut it to the size you need. And I'm going to start with my smallest strand of beads and just tie it onto the dowel. And you just want to give it a double knot. And then I'm going to go to the next size strand with the 24 beads and tie that. And I'm going to go all the way until I have the largest strand of beads as my last row. And then you just want to even them out on the wooden dowel. And this is what we have so far. And I'm just going to cut all the extra string that we don't need off. Now you can use any color beads you want. You can get creative with this. I thought an Americana theme would also look really nice. Now I found this five foot lamb's ear garland right from Walmart. It was inexpensive, maybe $3.99. And I'm going to just cut it the length of the wooden dowel. Now I have some green floral wire and I'm just going to snip three pieces of that. And this is what we're going to use to attach the lamb's ear across the wooden dowel here. So I'm just wrapping the floral wire around the garland and the wooden dowel and just making that nice and tight. And I'll do one on the left side here. And we'll put one in the center. The floral wire is going to hold much better than the hot glue. And if you don't have floral wire, you could just tie some jute or string as well. And then I'll do my third one on the end over on the right here. And then now I just have some lamb's ear that I found from Walmart as well. It just came in a little bundle. And I'm just going to snip off some leaves and just fill in any patches that we have. So we had a lot on the end here and I'm just using the hot glue to just glue them to the lamb's ear garland and we're just going to fill all of that in. And then I just have one last piece of floral wire. I'm just going to make a little hoop in the back here and this is how we're going to hang it. And there we go. Now we have this very easy inexpensive wall hanging made from some beads. Thank you so much for watching. Paint products, transfers, stencils, and tissue paper can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out some other tutorials while you're over there. Have a great day.